Good morning class. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So children in our previous session we had written dictation words along with that we had also solved worksheet 4.1 and 4.2. So today we are going to start with worksheet 4.3. Are you all ready? So let's begin. Okay, so question one. I open application book A, page number forty. Question one. Where do insects live? So insects are found everywhere. Air, water, and soil. They are also found on plants and animals. Second, name the different parts, body parts of an insect. So we all know that the body of an insect is divided into three parts: head, thorax, and abdomen. Question three. What is chitin? How we will pronounce chitin? Insects have a hard outer covering on their body made up of chitin. Then question four: How do insects smell and feel things? So they don't have nose. They will use antenna. Antenna help help the insects to smell and feel the things around them. Question five: Describe the life cycle of a butterfly. This question you are going to write it in your notebook. So the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly are egg, caterpillar, pupa, and adult. So stage one, the butterfly lays eggs on the underside of leaves. The eggs hatch into larva. The larva of a butterfly is called caterpillar, which looks like a worm. It quickly feeds on leaves, and then there will be stage four. In this stage, the caterpillar makes a cocoon, and this stage is called pupa. It starts turning into a butterfly in the cocoon. And in the fourth stage, in this stage, the cocoon opens up, and the butterfly comes up. The butterfly learns to fly. It then searches food. This is how life cycle of a butterfly goes on. Yes. So now we will move to question six. You have to label the different stages of the life cycle of a butterfly in the given image. So first is egg. We all know that. Second is larva. You can see caterpillar over here. Yes. Then third is pupa, and fourth is adult butterfly. Yes, children. Now we will start with next worksheet. That is six point four worksheet question number one. What are social insects? Give two examples. So insects that live in large groups or colonies are called social insects. Ants and honeybees are social insects. Along with that, termites are also considered as social insects. I hope, children, whatever we had solved today is clear to you all, right? We had solved application worksheet six point three and six point four question number one. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye, children.